Hi everyone! Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about some screen sharing options when you are video chatting with your students. So stick around and let's get started. So I'm going to go over how you can screen share with Zoom. So if I'm in my Zoom window right now, and it's a little bit weird because the camera is showing me from Zoom, but I'm going to show you. You're going to go down to share screen. Now you have multiple options. Whiteboard is going to give you a board where you can draw. Your students can actually draw on this board too. If you give them the access, I'll show you. Um, you'll be able to kind of draw anything you want. This is great for showing math problems, playing games, and you can even save your work as you can see here. You can give um, access to your students and let them um, be able to write as well. I don't have anyone in the chat now, so it's a little bit different, but that's an option. Another option in screen share is your iPhone or iPad. To do this, you just need to make sure that your iPad is on the same Wi-Fi as whatever computer you're using. So make sure you're connected to the same Wi-Fi and you're gonna go on your iPad and just hit the screen mirroring option. So on your iPad, under your settings is gonna say screen mirroring and it's gonna pop up saying Zoom with whatever your name is with the Zoom. You can see it shows it on my screen what I need to click. Once I hit Zoom and it connects, now I have my iPad screen up and my students can see this. So you can model um, apps that you want them to use. You can go over, um, if I wanted to show them, let's say how to do this coding game, I could open this, I could show them. It plays the sound as you can hear. Oops, did not want to do So you can see that I can show them um, different options if I wanted them to do um, a program. So that is a great way to share. If you have an old iPhone, you can use that to share apps and different things, um, your iPad, anything at all. It doesn't work yet with um, Android devices. I can't seem to find that. Another share option is to share specific screens. So if you have just one tab you wanna share, you can do that. And then if you hit advanced, you have some more choices. You can share a portion of your screen, which is really helpful. What you'll see from your end is just a little green box. You can move and drag it anywhere on your screen. So you can see right now, my students would see only what's in the box. So this is good if you don't want them to see all of your windows, your bookmarks, all different things. Now, a lot of teachers ask, how can I share my screen and still see my students? Well, this is good because when you have this, I wanted to share something small here. I can drag my window over, make it so that, you know, this portion only is being shown. And then my little camera here, when you have your students, there'll be an, a third option that has two little dots. You can click and now drag this window and you can make it bigger. So your students would all be lined up. Just hit the button that looks like the many dots like a gallery mode and you can see all of your students there plus see what you're sharing to them so that's a great feature you can also share a document camera something like a hue so this is my hue um, it's very easy to use i will link where you can get it from in the comments below and this doesn't need any software i literally just plug it into my computer and i go to screen share I hit advance and I hit connect from a second camera. And when I hit share, um, you can see it's showing my screen, but right now it's showing my computer camera. So what I wanna do is I want to switch the video 
and now it's showing my hue. So there's a little button you can see here that says switch video. And now this would be showing like if I wanted to show my students something, and this is just my keyboard, but if I wanted to show my students something, you can see they can still have my regular camera as the main component, but I'm sharing my screen. Now from the teacher side, you might say, whoa, there's too much um, going on. Just double click. Again, you can drag these windows, get it out of full screen mode, and you can drag the window over so that you can still see your kids on one side and what you're sharing on the other, okay? So just make sure it's out of full screen mode. And like I said, this camera is great because it can even act as a webcam. Um, you just stop and um, aim it wherever you want. It has a mic in it, it has the lights in it. So like if I was gonna shine it on myself, you can see it's good quality. It's still pretty good. So easy to use. I will stop the sharing. Um, so that's pretty much all of the good share sharing that you can use. If you want to share a specific file, you can connect it to your Google Drive and share um, that file too, but I would just probably screen share it. So it's really easy to share items. I hope this helps you as you move through distance learning and virtual with your students. Um, remember, you have options like recording your lesson so your students can see. You can have them react, like raise their hands and do all sorts of things. And um, this should help you out. So unfortunately, if you're trying to share with Google Meets, it's a little bit more tricky. Um, you can kind of rig it. So if you have something like a Hue or document camera, what you can do is go to settings on your video while you're talking to your class and hit video and you're going to want to change the video. It's probably going to say something like a USB device because you plugged it in there and you'll see a preview. So I can see that this is my hue right here and I can switch my camera and my students can see this now. Unfortunately, I won't be able to do both like with Zoom um because if i hit present it's only allowing me to present my windows so you can present just a chrome tab you can present um your entire screen so if i go back to settings and hit my regular camera you can see that it's a little bit trickier but it is doable um unfortunately present they don't have it where you can present a second camera at the moment but there's a lot of updates coming, so hopefully they bring that over.